Nha Jeon Selen Sutu. Welcome back to my video cooking. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make ta da! Louis flour cookie. Yes. Hmm. Some of you may know this cookies, some of you may not. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make using my recipe that I've been using over 10 years. <laughs> yes, 10 years. One day I wish that I can make YouTube channel and to show you guys, but finally I did. And I'm gonna show you guys how to make Thai Louis flour cookie. To make this flour cookie here, you need a flour mold stick, which, ta-da, it look like this, okay? So I bought this one at Mong store. If you live in US, you can go look at Mong store, Vietnamese store, Laos store. If not, you have to order from Thailand. <laughs> um, this or a lot of recipe, but I have my recipe here. My flour cookie here is thick, uh, less oily here, you guys can see. Um, crunchy and crispy it's perfect sweet you can make ahead of time like one week two weeks it's still good for a month as long as you put in a bag or uh, containers to keep for longer longer so are you guys ready yeah okay let's go here are the ingredients I'm using to make my Louis flour Two cups sugar depends how sweet you want. Four eggs, one teaspoon salt, one can coconut milk, 19 ounce, one water bottle, 16.9 flow ounce. And right here I have all purpose flowers. You can use any kind as long as it's all purpose flour. I'm gonna use six cups of purpose flour.
Okay, so right now you see the flower here. This one I just put in is big and this one's a little bit smaller and you see it's less bubble and then a little bit light brown. That means good. So just flip over at this couple seconds and then it should be good. You don't want to overcook. It'll taste a little bit bitter. And you just scoop up and then drain some while. So you don't want a lot of water into your flour cookies. So here's another trick. I just showed you guys. It, it's going to be hot, okay? But all you need to do is touch the ends of the, the ends right here. And just kind of press down to make the flour very nice, the shape. So you can see this one's a little bit darker because I live a little bit longer. And then I think this one's cooled down. And then this one is a little bit light, but it's just beautiful. And then once it's cooled down, you can put it aside. So you see how this one I live longer? It's a little bit brown, darker. This one is this little bit golden brown, and this one is a little bit lighter. So it's depending on um, the color that you like. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys different. So this one is longer. This is medium. This is like less. So here's the only way I can tell that my Louis flowers ready. So this one, I think I put last, and this one's the first one. And you can see that it's just less, less bubbling. That means it's cooked. And you see how this one still have bubbling around. And this one almost, this one's almost. So I know that this one, is there's no bubble. So that means it's, it's cooked. It's good. So all you need to do is shake it like this, make sure that it's less oil. And then just transfer. So don't do how I do like this, okay? I'm just gonna show you guys, but it's hot. The flour cookies is hot, but you can use napkin or um, um, gloves to cover your hands. So make sure that it's just, your hand don't get burned because it's hot. But I just show you guys how to press down the flour here, the flour, the cookies here to make the shape, to make the shape of flour and beautiful. And then to dip so you dip into the batter here not over you leave a little bit at the top so you can see it and then you take out like this and then you just slowly bring into the wall here for a couple of seconds maybe like less than 10 seconds and then you shake it and it come off easily And you guys see how this one is start to cooking and this one you see a little bit brown there's less oil bubbling here and then all you need to do is just flip and you guys can see a little bit brown around here so i just need to cook like a couple seconds i cannot tell how many seconds like 20 seconds 30 seconds so you have to um you have to once you do it you have to check okay so you're not sure you flip, okay? And then, let me show you guys. You can see like that. So this one is good. So all you need to do is shake a little bit to make sure that less oil, less oil. Okay. It's dark and this, this one's almost done. I don't want to throw away, so I'm gonna make a little bit I add a little bit color in here and then I'm gonna make one I'm gonna make few of the colors to see I'm gonna make yellow Louis flower okay
it's dark. So you guys cannot see my yellow lotus flower. And I'm gonna use this one. So if you don't want to make a cookie flowers, you just want to do very simple. This is all you need to do. You shake it like this, make sure it's oil. And then you just put it into flat like this. And you don't want any shape, you just leave like this. So just leave like this. If you want to flip upside down, so less oil. So that's it. Okay, so here I'm finished all my Louis flower here. I cannot wait to show you guys tomorrow how beautiful it is. Ta-da! Here is my Louis flower cookie. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna eat for you. <laughs> you guys can hear the sound. Yes, that's the sound we want. And you see how break easy? Yes. And I'm gonna eat. Mmm. Mmm. It's crispy, crunchy. Um, it's not too sweet. It's perfect. Here it is, you guys. Here's. A full tray of my Louis cookie flowers that I made from last night. Yes. Hmm. So this one is the one you don't have to make the shade of the flower. And this is the shade that I make for the flower. It's so beautiful. I love it. And this is the yellow color that I made yesterday. This is a yellow Louis flower. It's beautiful. Hmm. So my recipe here make about one full tray is enough for a small party. You guys have to make. The kids and everyone will love it. They were asking for more. Never enough. <laughs> okay, you guys. So that's it. And thanks you for watching my video here. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.